Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Wells Knight's Realm. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing some work over there across the bridge, across the way. Um, I want to build up that area a little bit more. We built a cow, a cattle pen pasture thing not too long ago, um, which is definitely a good step in the right direction. Now, as I had said in that episode, I want to make this area, like right across the bridge, right here, a little bit of a trading post. I think that'd be really cool. And I'm thinking, how how did you get out? Are you, did you just wander? Um, cow? Like in all seriousness, how did you get out? You are not supposed to be out of the pen. Get, get back you. Dang cow. Can we push him in? In. In you- no, 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 in, in, yeah, no, okay. Sneaky cow. Anyway, <laughs> what I want to do here is I'm thinking it would be really cool to have like a little wagon caravan. Um, so that's kind of what we're going to work on today is I want to make a little bit of a wagon, uh, like right around here. And basically we're going to have just a couple of wagons, like maybe one here, uh, maybe one kind of going this way, maybe a couple back there. Um, I don't think we're going to build them all in today's episode. I think today I, I just kind of want to get the design um, hashed out. But that's kind of what I'm, that's what I'm planning. That's what I'm envisioning. Now, I don't have a design in mind. I haven't, uh, you know, actually done, uh, I, I haven't like spent time in creative world, uh, in a creative world trying to like come up with a design or anything like that. I'm just kind of making this up on the spot. So bear with me if we do a little bit of trial and error here. But I'm thinking, first and foremost, we'll want to lay out the wagon. And I'm thinking we'll want the wagons to be four wide altogether. Now, these are going to be the tires uh, or the wheels. And I'm thinking maybe here. That seems to be a pretty good size for a wagon. That looks pretty good, I think. I think that's about the size we want. Then... Uh, we're definitely going to want some buttons, so like, let's make four buttons, and we'll put those on the sides of these dark oak logs like that. That should work, okay. Now, can we do something like that for, like, an axle? How will that look? That actually looks alright. Let's maybe make some oak slabs. And kind of, oh, kind of bring those around here. Oh, no, 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 not what? No. Oh. <sighs> it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? I can just tell. It's all right. It's fine. Uh, so we'll maybe do something like that. And that will be kind of our wag, the, like the base of our wagon. And then here, we'll cap each of those with an oak slab. Like so. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now, we need to work in some other details. So I'm thinking we'll have a couple of these guys kind of coming up the side over here. These will be like the little support things that, uh, that kind of go up and over the wagon. So we'll bring those up maybe too high. And then maybe bring them... Oh, come on. There we go. Maybe bring them over. One, two, three, like that. Or four altogether. We'll maybe do something like that. That seems to be about right. Although, honestly, I'm... Kind of thinking that those should come up a little bit more. I think we're going to have to make some more spruce fences. Let's do that real quick. Um, let's go... I think it's like that, right? Yeah, there we go. 26, that should be enough. So let's maybe do something like that. Let's just pillar up here. And then up again. And over like that. How's that look for a shape? Let's see. I still think that might actually have to come up a little more. Or maybe we'll bring them this way. 
and then up. Because I'm thinking we'll want um, probably wool, like white wool, uh, which I might actually have to go get. I just thought of that. I just realized I don't think I actually have any white wool here, but that's okay. Uh, we're going for like a kind of like a Conestoga wagon, like a covered wagon look here. Yeah, that looks good. That looks to be about right. Okay, cool. So let's just mirror that on the other side. Uh, that was foolish of me. We should probably get... We actually probably should not do that right here. We should probably do that somewhere like over here. There we go. So let's go one, two. And then it comes over and up. Like that. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then I'm thinking we'll take some more oak slabs and put one here and here. And there and there. That way those things aren't just like hanging out of nowhere. Because <laughs> that's, that's always a little strange when you've just got random blocks kind of hanging out. Uh, let's take a nap here real quick while we can. That seems really high, but I think once we actually get the wool in place, it'll look fine. Um, let's make a few more oak slabs as well. There we go. So that we can fill in the center of this wagon. The area where you'll actually be when you're in the wagon. One more batch of oak slabs should do it. There we go. That looks pretty good, I think. And then we just need to fill in the wool. And I think it'll be pretty good as far as the basic structure goes. And then we'll just have to, uh, you know, add detail to it and stuff like that. So let me run back to town. Let me see if I get any wool there. If not, I'm going to have to run back to the rustic village and get some. Uh, but I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, guys, I am back, and I had a bunch of wool in the warehouse. I had, like, two and a half stacks, which will be more than enough for what we need here, so that's good. Okay, so let's head on up, and let's see if we can kind of get the shape of this little bit worked out. So I'm thinking we'll go like this, and then these guys will go here, and... We'll try and kind of keep that rounded shape. Like so. There we go. Can you tell that that's a wagon? Kind of, sort of. You can kind of tell. Now, it seems like whenever I see pictures of Conestoga wagons in real life, the top always kind of extends out a bit more than the, uh, than the middle. Uh, maybe it's a shade thing. I don't know. I'm not really super knowledgeable about that type of thing. But that looks pretty good. Um, do, 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 except I think we brought those out on the other side. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got our wagon. And I'm actually pretty good with that. I think the fences are a little weird. Like, they don't look quite right to me. Um, but I'm not sure. We could maybe substitute ladders? Maybe? How would that look? Let's just give that a try. Let's see if we like that better. Um, let's make some sticks. And some ladders. There we go. Let's just give that a try. Do we like that better? Hmm? Then we'd have to... Hmm, you know what I do need? I need some iron. Because we could maybe go ladders and rails? That might work? That might look okay? We'll have to see. Because I'm... Like, I like it except for... The fences. The fences look or the, the fences look a little out of place. Just because they extend so far above the wagon that it just it doesn't look quite right to me. Um let's see. I know I've got some iron in the warehouse. And we just need to make some uh some rail tracks, which should be pretty straightforward. Let's just grab some of that. There we go. 
Otherwise, the other option would be potentially spruce and slabs. That might work as well. Although that might look a little, it might look a little derp. I don't know. Looking at that, though, I also think maybe we should put the wool uh, right where that kind of middle slab goes. Just shape-wise, I think the top extends a little bit too much right now. So from a distance, I think that would make it look better as well. All right, so let's get to doing that. Uh, first and foremost, I think I do want to change this little part right here. As I was saying, and plop down wool there instead. I think that looks better. And that way the top of the logs are still covered, which is fine. That's what we want. So that looks good. Okay, now let's make some, uh, what is the recipe for those? It's that, I think, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. And we're going to need some more ladders. So let's make a few more of those. And, uh, you know, the nice thing about this, too, is that we can just climb up them. Which will make things a little easier on us as well. There we go. And then we could get rid of these side bits, which look a little... I don't want to say they look out of place, but they look a little out of place. How's that look? How's that look from a distance? That's the real question. Uh, can't really see it from there. Can you see it from here? Uh, you really can't see the the rails. Like, they're there, but you, you really can't see them. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what to do? What to do? And you can't really see the ladders either. So I don't particularly like that option either. Maybe... Maybe we'll do a combination of fences and slabs. That might work, possibly. Like we come off of here, because I think the I think my issue with the fences is that they extend up too high. They're they're too they go too high. So maybe what we can do is. Something like, uh, let's grab a little bit of spruce here. Maybe we can make some of those and some of those. And maybe we can make it work like this. Because I think a full block on the sides would be too much. I, I don't think that would look very good. So maybe we'll go there. And then across like that down here. Will that work? That might work. Maybe. That that might actually work. Let's see here. Go there. And then we'll take out those ladders and plop down fences like that. Okay, let's go take a look at that from a distance and see what we think. Trial and error. A lot of building really comes down to trial and error. Trying to get it right. Trying to find a design that you like and that works. And that kind of... Oh, actually, that looks pretty good. From a distance? That looks pretty good. I like it. I think that's the one. I think that'll do. I mean, it doesn't look quite as good from up close. But I mean, part of it, part of the other thing too, is that we're building in Minecraft where everything's a block. And we're building on a pretty small scale, so it's kind of hard to get some of those details in sometimes. You know? Uh, so I think, I think this is a pretty good compromise. Now, the other thing we could do, that would be the back of the wagon. This would be the front right here, okay? So, we'll say maybe... This area, since it's the front, 
Um, let's grab a few more of those and maybe a couple stairs. And we'll build up just a little area here where people can kind of, um, may or maybe like that. Maybe that would be better. That might work. Or maybe, maybe some stairs there. Oh, except that's on the wrong half of the block, so that's not going to work. Never mind. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking something like that, maybe, for the front of the wagon. That should do. That should do pretty well. And then we've got this in here. Now, we will need a little bit of lighting, so maybe we'll just put a couple... Ooh, actually, you know what we could do? You know what we could do is we could put... A torch there and there because a lot of times these lanterns ha or these uh, these wagons had like a lantern on the front I think kind of like that and I think that might actually work pretty well so maybe something along these lines that looks pretty good I like it I think that'll do um, now I want some storage in here. I want, I don't want this wagon to just be like useless. I want it to actually serve a purpose. So I think we'll maybe put some lantern or some lights, um, maybe just kind of hide them in there. Cause we also want this to be a spawn. We don't, we don't want this to be a spawnable area. Uh, and then we can grab this bed and just plop that guy like right in here, maybe. So there's a bed in here uh, that you can sleep in. We'll have, um, you know, a chest in there for storage. We could potentially work in some other things as well. Uh, I think another good thing to do would probably be to add some slabs to the ceiling. I think that would look pretty good if we did. Let's see, where are the here and here. So essentially they're like, what, one away from the, yeah, so we'd have one like right here and one like right there. Just some slabs to make it look like the thing's being held up a little bit. I think that works. That looks good. You know, I'm actually pretty good with that. Like, it's simple, it's very simple, but I think it gets the job done. You know, and then, um, one thing we should probably do, there would be animals that would be kind of held, uh, that this thing would pull, so maybe we'll pull out some fences a little bit farther like that, because this would ultimately be pulled by animals. No, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Maybe we'll just bring them out this far. How's that look? That looks a bit better. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's pretty good. I like it. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else that this really needs? I don't really think so, honestly. Like, this... I, I'm actually pretty happy with the way that this looks right now. I'm good with it. We've got our back. We got our front, and it's just a real simple little design, but it gets the job done. So there we have it, guys. A Conestoga, uh, a Conestoga wagon. A, a little caravan wagon. I like it. But guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode, because I am out of time. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.